what I'm saying? If you're not cheering for me for what I'm doing, don't cheer for me. Check it boys, this is my new hatch, 94, named Kimbo, after the street, and MAA fighter, Kimbo Slice. You guys know Kimbo was a great fighter, street fighter, to his prime to his last days. All right boys, so we're working on the, uh, the new belt, the EG hatch. We seem to have a situation. We have no shifter, do we? We have no shifter, do we? Yeah, we're replacing the uh, shift linkage today, butchings. Uh, a shifter himself. Gonna hook it up, tune it up, clean it up, set up everything so we could put it back. And hopefully, we could take it for a quick ride. Can't promise. I mean, even though it's minor stuff, but hot, we need a battery. But we got all this stuff going on with the channel. It feels like it's been for a minute. Apologies. I kind of just been taking personal time with the family doing things. And um, yeah, just trying to stay motivated, man. Coming up with new ideas. The EK truck, we put it on stop for right now. Each day we pass the deadline. But we keep grinding, we keep motivated. We got the CRX build coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. We got more of the Honda Fit, the RX7, and hopefully all the things that are coming in the channel. So with that being said, let's get with today's video, brother. I don't place SI wheels on it. I got them from my boy. Um, just put a clutch on it. I show a briefly uh, clip on the clutch installment, how I did it. Uh, let me see. We just put new door handles that were broken. Uh, new key cylinders to lock the car. So we just like little details. You know what I'm saying? The car is bone stock. PP. Bone stock. Not for long. I'm using it as daily. I love the mirror. Might steal this. Might steal these for the RX7. So I might keep this handy. All right, so the cheek link shifter is removed. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. I don't clean it, inspect it for full repair before we do the uh, butching repair kit on it. Before we install the new shifter and simply throw it right back. So that's all done. This is pretty much a quick video, an update on everything that I've been up to. Show you the new build, the new EG, what we're doing. So slowly picking right back up. Patience, my friends, patience. So let's see what we got. 
All right, so we got your chain linkage. I have a 94 EG. This goes 92 to 95 EG. It's all the same. We are getting butching replacement for this. The shifter and so was bad. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like. So I end up cleaning it, painting it. So it's rust free and a lot cleaner for when started. Same with this side. Over here on this side, you gotta look for movement sometimes. This one doesn't have any, so I, I know this part is good money. So I just simply cleaned it up, ready for installment. So we're gonna put the shifter, let's get it. All right, this part is covered pretty much. We got the shifter in place. See this glass is 210 mils. You put it to the bottom up, obviously. Put the shifter, put your metal ball chain, put the boot, put the plate back, tie it up, which we gotta do. But yeah, this is pretty much in the set. I'm gonna tie this up, head up to a band where uh, I believe this is what we're getting. And that should be it. Throw this baby back and see where we stand at. See if hopefully we solve the problem with the shifter. Not getting the gears correctly. So with that being said, let's get it. All right, boys, next up, Bansado. Let's get it. what we came here for time to get stalling and uh with that being said let's get it this is your trim linkage repair kit for honda civic 92 to 95 pause at your local advance all right boys I'm about to head back to the crib and i'll see you soon Alright boys, now that we're back at the crib, we got a repair butching kit for the chip linkage. Let's get to this installment and get to finalizing today's bit. Let's get it. Alright boys, now that we're back at the crib, we got a repair butching kit for the chip linkage. Let's get to this installment and get to finalizing today's bit. Let's get it. All right, boys, I want to show you something in case you're wondering if it's worth it. If you ever have problems with your chain for linkage, shifter on an EG, if you just replace the clutch brand new and you have issues, they feel you don't got a clutch brand new. I'll show you guys. After everything was tied up on the bottom, everything was loose earlier, pause, everything tight now. We got rid of all this lackage before I have to just go like this. Now I'm hitting it and it's not even moving. So that means that everything is nice and tight like it should. I put some lubrication in here, pause. Came from factory. So we could get ready to install it and um, see how things is looking like. So let's get it. Alright boys, so this is tied up, last ball of the day, the last 212 for the underneath shifter for the bull chain is tight, I gotta tighten the last one here for the pin, plus, plus of the pin, somebody done put a 12, screw in it, so that's what we're gonna do, just a SOB to get, while trying to block with one hand and um, putting it in pause so you're gonna tie it up and finish this let's go. well boys time of truth when i say we had shifter problems literally if you have shifter problems you could go like this not even like this like barely 
would have went side by side if you have the problem on a 94 excuse me 92 the 95 eg manual pause as you see we replaced it it's gonna have a little play nothing crazy but if you're going like this with one finger going to the one side the other side that's your issue so far craft the gears good first second third fourth fifth reverse again first second third fourth fifth reverse so it's a matter of just putting the battery checking it out and see where we stand at i know that was the problem so let's get it and yeah it feels great as i'm pressing my clutch again it's a brand new clutch i installed less than a week car hasn't get driven shifter was the problem it feels brand new so yeah everything is all good jacks is down try to get inside try it out possibly go for a right so let's get it Alive. A lot of fucking work boys, but uh, stay tuned. There'll be plenty coming up, so that being said, let's get it. like after the cleanup if you guys seen I made it wider a little more private you know what I'm saying so when I work on cars over here people not breaking their neck too much and I'm not literally on the street I used to do like mechanic out here so now I could work with an inside there but um not too bad man we got the R7 waiting there and we got the EG this is a new hatch that I picked up not too long ago so 94 bone stock that we're gonna be working on 
and I'll be glad they bring material to it. Don't know exactly what we're doing with it. I doing us on the road and I plan to use it so we could go some car meets and have fun just like it would the fit that we have to use, you know, whenever we have to. But with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what's going on today. Let's get it.